These are one-of-a-kind, world-class kites that have been on a world stage and seen by hundreds of thousands of people around the world. A lot of my kites now are custom. The kites are all different, from little to huge to single lines, dual lines, quad lines, traction kites. You gotta have the variety. The price range of my kites can average anywhere from $7,000 to priceless. I've been called the kite guy, the kite man. People will come down saying, are you the kite man of Martinez? <laughs> it creates a lot of fun, just amongst the community of Martinez. Like a lot of people growing up, you fly kites as kids. I grew up in northern Minnesota with my little sister flying kites. Then I took about a 30 year hiatus until I moved to California and I saw people in San Francisco flying the dual line sport kites. And that's how I got back into it about 22 years ago. Best time of year is to fly kites, especially at the marina here, are from about mid-April until mid-October. The winds you want are the onshore winds. They're smooth and they're consistent, and they're just some of the best winds I've ever flown in the world. A lot of my kites are now are custom. Colors, designs, LED lights so I can light up the night with it. The bowl, that's a 10 meter, about 32 feet across. And then I've got one that's twice as big, it's 20 meters, which is about 67 feet, which is massive. Last August, I hurt my back. Well, that took about three and a half, almost four months of laying on my back. And August, September, and October are some of the best months to fly. People would ask, when are you gonna be out flying? And I said, I can't, I'm hurt, I'm sorry. Do you need food? Do you need groceries? What do you need? People I've never met, and it humbles you. To see a community come out, because you're the kite man. Now I fly for the community. That loves me, and I love it. And you can't help but feel pride that the sport that I enjoy is enjoyed by so many people. This is why I do it.